yourself up either. Yeah, this looks great. Hey, where'd the creeps go? Is that how long you're going to go tomorrow, Ken? Okay. That, that, that would be perfect, yeah. That, that would have been perfect, actually. Yep. Because as soon as I get here, he can deliver his line. All right. Lord, why do you wash my feet? You do not know now, but afterward you will understand. You shall never wash my feet. I am not worthy. If I do not wash you, you will have no part in me. Then wash my face and hands too. Make me wholly clean. <laughs> he who has bathed does not need to wash his body. Peter, you are clean. But not all at this table are clean. What? What, what do you mean by that? You call me Lord and teacher. And you are right, for so I am. But whosoever would be great among you must be your servant. And whosoever would be first among you must be your slave. For even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to offer his life as a ransom for many. As I have served you this night by washing your feet, so may you serve each other by washing each other's feet. 
For I have given you an example that you should do also as I have done to you. Be now at peace with one another. I shall return with the wine and the bread for the Passover meal. I don't understand what he means about us serving each other. If he's already washed our feet. He means later when he's not here. Uh, you know he said uh, he's you know he says that he is leaving us, that they will kill him. Yeah, yes, he's said that before, and we've all heard it. But it can't be now. Never before has he had such a triumph. You heard the people shouting. <laughs> That's pretty good today. Yeah. He says that they will kill him. It is written that they will kill the Son of God. It just can't be now, though. Bartholomew is right. Remember how a year ago when he spoke of being the Son of God in the temple, how they attacked him? And how they tried to stone him the last time we were here in Jerusalem? Yeah. You are not yet 50 years old, they said to him. Yet you say you've seen Abraham? And he said to them, before Abraham was, I am. Yes. It was wonderful. He had no yeah. power at that time. No one had heard of him. And even then, they couldn't touch him. He just walked right away. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Jesus ran away. He fled the city. Yes, he walked. Oh, I was there. I saw it. But that's not the point. The point is, now he is powerful. He should have no fear. He has never been afraid. They have always feared him. That is why he says they must kill him. No, no, no. He says that they will kill him because it is written. It, it just must be. I agree with Andrew. I don't think it'll be now either. Did you, did you see him on the street with the scribes? Yeah. What about taxes, they asked him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it lawful to contribute to Caesar? Jesus just calmly said, show me a coin. Remember that little short, little, that little scribe with a little pointed nose? Um, <laughs> dug in his pocket, dug in his pocket, that little weasel, dug in his pocket, <laughs> and, and, and took out a coin and handed it to Jesus. Jesus took the coin and looked at it and said, whose picture is on this coin? And the, the little weasel said, well, um, it's Caesar's. Hail Caesar. And Jesus said, give to Caesar what's Caesar's and give to God. What's God's? The little weasel just wanted to be someplace yeah. else, like in a hole. Yeah. 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 Weasel hole. Yeah. They used to lie in wait, hoping he would stumble. But then they tried to trick him into saying something foolish. But the outcome was always the same. Do you remember after the feeding of the four thousand? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Some Pharisees were shouting at Jesus as he was walking down the road past them. He turned faced them and stopped them in their tracks about 50 feet away and he said you say the weather will be fair this evening for the sky is red but in the morning you say the weather will be stormy for the sky is red and threatening mm -hmm. you can interpret the appearance by the sky but you cannot interpret the signs of the times yeah. he then walked away and the people looked at each other staring not saying a word until finally two of the guys looked up into the clouds I think they're still yeah, looking up. Still looking up. Still looking up. Still looking up. He really has no fear. I saw it in the beginning. Not all of you were with us then. My wife's mother was very ill. We thought she was dying. It was late in the afternoon, very hot. You walked into that room, and you yourself felt ill. My wife was terrified, and I was upset. But he walked directly into that room of sickness and touched her, and she was well again. At that moment, evening came, and the day was cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, Peter. Yeah. And what about the father of the dead girl? The one who came so far to see us? Yeah. The mayor, in his black robe, edged with gold. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I don't totally totally remember that. But he believed. Yeah, it's true. He said, yeah. come. Yeah and lay your hands upon her, and she will be well again. So we went. But when we got to the village, they had already prepared the funeral. We saw the dancers dancing. We heard the pipers piping. I thought we'd come too late. She's obviously dead. But Jesus faced the crowd and said, Be gone, for this girl is not dead. She's sleeping. And into the house he went, and up to the side of her bed, where he held her hand. And behold, she rose, 
and he led her to the door where she had to shield her eyes from the sun. And at that moment, the, the crowd grew so silent that you could have heard a single sparrow singing from the tallest of trees. How did the girl's father find us? He had heard about the Lord's works. Somehow, they always heard. Yeah, they Jesus, yeah. Jesus told us to spread the teachings, but the healings, especially in the early days, he didn't want anybody to know. But they all came, always, already believing, like this man or the centurion. Or they were afraid. They were often afraid of miracles. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. 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 Judas, I that? have been afraid myself. We were all afraid yeah. that yeah. night on the boat. I wasn't afraid. Oh, you were you were too. Too. I could no. see his power. It was the first time I could really see it. To feed thousands with a few loaves and fish. But he walked away from possibility. What? Again what? and again he walked away. He away. doesn't walk away from anything. Sometimes they sent him away. They sent him from Nazareth because they had known him of old and thought he was changed. They, they thought they knew, they thought he had changed, but they never really knew him. They did ask us to leave, and it was the same as that day with the swine of Gerasenus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Gerasenus, I remember that day. Well, let's go across the lake, he says. Well, you know, I'm a fisherman, and I can see there's a storm coming. But you know him. You can't refuse him. So we all go out. And sure enough, here comes this big storm. Well, the waves started crashing in over their boat. The, the rain is pouring down. It's filling the bottom of the boat over our shoes. Judas, even you were afraid that day. <laughs> and, and then he's yelling at us over the storm. He's saying, where is your faith? Well, I can tell you that day, my faith, they were in my shoes, but they were getting all wet. <laughs> and, and then, of course, in a moment, he just calms the water. And I'm thinking, what else could happen next? And then we finally reach the shore, and we climb this cliff, and there... Way to meet us on top of this cliff, of cliff. is this madman. <laughs> well, he's, he's terrible looking. He's streaked with mud. He's screaming. He's waving his arms and thrashing. Heal me! Heal me! Heal me! Heal me! Heal me! Heal me! <laughs> no, you see, that was already his problem. <laughs> the Lord had already reached out inside him. And inside of this man were all of his demons. And the demons started kicking and screaming. And they were going, what will you have to do with me? And don't torment me. <laughs> Sometimes you have to suffer to be healed. But people don't want to suffer for any reason. No, and this man certainly didn't either. Well, I never saw a man so sorry to be saved in all my life. But again, none of this has any effect on our Lord. Well... He just happens to look over at this herd of swine passing by. And then he looks back over at this demon-possessed man. And he takes all of the demons from inside this man. And he puts them in the herd of swine. At which point, the swine go crazy. And they stampede over the cliff. <laughs> and those herdsmen, those herdsmen, they didn't know what to say. Their mouths were wide open. <laughs> and then they turned around and started running as fast as they could to town. And then turning back in disbelief and falling over their own robes. And then getting back up again and running just to save their souls. <laughs> Jesus saved the madman's soul. And what did he get for it? The people came out from town and they sent us away. Yeah, they sent us away from Jerusalem once, but we've returned. We should have come back before. No, Judas, this is the right time. You saw how he crowds praised him when he rode into the city. They love him now. Yeah. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. They all don't love him. They all weren't in the streets. And remember, Jesus has said, he who is not with me is against me. He who does not gather with me scatters. No, no. Thomas, he said, he who is not against us is with us. Yeah, I, I remember. He said it to me. Yeah, yeah I, I, I remember that. that too. No, John. I think otherwise. No. no John he has right. said it both ways. But in what he does, he is always the same. He teaches. Ways, huh? Heals. Uh, not always. No, when Lazarus was dying, he waited. He refused he to go. He, he refused. He had to well, wait. Lazarus was his friend. Yes. Brother of Mary and Martha, yet... He waited. Waited for reasons that were only his own. They weren't his own. He had to wait. It was written. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yep. That's right. Yep. And when he went, and Mary and Martha showed him the tomb, Jesus wept. It, it, it doesn't matter. He has saved Lazarus, and Lazarus walks among us. He's just given us a fine meal, and Lazarus yes. is very yes. grateful. Yes. He's telling everyone all about it. Yes, Matthew. And because of that, the Pharisees want to put him to death. This is what it means to be a friend of the Lord. No, no, what, you know, what is the matter with you, Judas? He chooses for himself. Not for us, not for others, and not for anyone else. He is the Son of God. He does his Father's work. He is a public figure with great power. But he wastes his days. Wastes his days. Wastes. He heals Wastes. women and children. Oh, and even their gratitude so he keeps to himself. What's he does that? not use it, and he does not let us use it. It's that woman and her expensive ointment, isn't it? No, it's not yeah. the ointment. But that definitely was a waste. Oh, well, yeah, when yeah, I think yeah. of the condition of the poor of oh, Judas, yeah, yeah. I heard what he said to you. She has done a beautiful thing, he said. I was very moved because you will have the poor with you always, but you will not always have me. I was moved, don't you see? It is as though he has come here to be killed. I tell you, he is safe. Here in Jerusalem, he's safe. Yes. Yes. When he's with the people, everyone knows it, and he is safe. He's safe. When he's with us, no one knows it, and he's safe again. But he speaks as if he will be killed very soon. I tell you, he's safe. They don't know where he is. Mm-hmm. They know. What? Who does? How can they know? How, How do you know, know that? that? How does he know? How does he know? Yeah. Lord, tonight when you washed my feet, I remembered the Pharisees rebuked you for some of us eating with unwashed hands. I remember, James. You quoted from Isaiah, saying, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Yes, I remember. Lord, our hearts are close to you tonight. Lord, eating with you tonight, I remember what you told the Pharisees when they rejected your faith when you were baptized by John. To what then do just people of this generation and all generations, they are like children in the marketplace calling to one another. We piped to them and they did not dance. We wailed to them and they did not weep. Mm -hmm. For John the Baptist came eating no bread, drinking no wine, And they said, he's possessed by the demon. But Lord, you came eating bread, drinking wine. And they they called you a glutton, a drunkard. (laughs) He eats with tax collectors and sinners. That was was a good (laughs) say Yet, I remember what you told us. The world is justified by all her children. Yes, Simon, I remember. Lord, do you remember the time that they came in and said, your mother and your brothers are outside and want to speak to you. And you said, who is my mother and who are my brothers? You stretched out your hands toward us and said, 
Here are my mother and my brothers. Do you remember? Yes, John, I remember. We, we are your mother and brother still. I know that you are. You are those that have continued with me on my trials. As my Father has appointed for me, so do I appoint for you, so that you may be able to eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. You are my friends, and I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover meal with you. Yet truly I say to you, one of you will betray me. What? 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 One, of us? One, one who is even eating with me tonight. Tonight? No, it, it, it can't be. It can't be. Is it I, Lord? No. Say it is not I. Is it I, Lord? Is it I, Lord? Is it I, Lord? Is it I, Lord? You have said it. My hour is come, and it will be fulfilled. Father, bless this bread for our use this Passover night. My friends, in giving this food to you tonight, I give you a part of myself, that you may truly have a share in all that I am. This is my body. Take it in remembrance of me. Father, bless this wine for our use this Passover night. Drink of it, all of you, for this is the cup of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I shall not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it with you in my Father's kingdom. My friends, I have so much to say to you, but we only have a little time. For my hour is come, and it has come for you also. For you will each fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Though the rest may fall away, because of you, I will never fall away. That's right. Peter, 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 Peter. 
Truly, Peter, I say to you this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter, no, Peter, Peter, Peter would not do that. that. Even if I must die with you, I will never deny you. No, no he, he would not. Do My hour is come. In a little while, you will see me no more. Again, in a little while, and you will see me in a new way. But for now, we must say goodbye. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. The hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will all be scattered, every man to his home, and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said this to you that you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. You did not choose me, but I chose and appointed you that you should bear fruit and that your fruit should abide. And it will abide as long as you keep my commandments. And I command you now to love one another as I have loved you. For if you love my Father, and you love one another, then you shall truly be my disciples. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Come to me soon in the garden. I must speak to my Father this evening, and I wish to have you near me as I pray. Judas, what you're about to do do it quickly. What? Judas. Judas. What, what, does what does he mean? What, what are you going to do? Judas. Peter. Simon. Peter. The prayer. His prayer. No. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead, lead us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
brothers. He is waiting. Sit here while I go and pray. My soul is consumed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will.
Could you men not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray so that you do not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken from me unless I drink it, may your will be done. Are you still resting and sleeping? Look, the hour is near. The Son of Man is betrayed at the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Greetings, Rabbi. Friend, do what you came for. Ah! Put your sword back in its place. For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you not think that I could call upon my father and he would at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels? Every day I sat in the temple courts teaching and you did not arrest me. Yet all this has taken place that the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled.
With what is he charged? Are you a king? Are you a king? You yourself proclaim me king. Am I a Jew? It was your own people and your chief priest that brought you before me. Tell me, what is it that you've done? Are you a king? Perhaps to this end I was born. But my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jews. For now my kingdom is from another place. Finally, then you are a king. For this I was brought into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. Truth? What is truth? And what is truth to the guiltless when the hand of the executioner is upon him? None shall rule the world save with spirit and truth. Spirit? Are you of the spirit? For you are also, though you know it not. Spirit and truth. What is spirit and what is truth when I... For the sake of Rome, and they, for jealousy of their ancient rights, delivers an innocent man to his death. Come, follow me. Behold the man! What shall I do with him? Crucify! 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 Silence! Do you not realize that I have the power to either crucify you or set you free? You would have no power over me at all if it were not given to you from above. As has been the custom, I will set one man free. Who shall it be? Jesus or Barabbas? Silence! You will have me crucify your king? We have no king like you, Caesar. Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Silence! Very well. Take the Nazarene away. Crucify him. And free Barabbas. Make a sign that says, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Do not test me. What I have said, so shall it be written. I believe that man was no more. Rather, for the sake of Rome.